What's up, folks? Don't mind me. I, I, huh? what? I, I, might, I might do a little coffin, you know. Oh, allergy yeah. Season. Yeah, allergy season is getting. Well, it doesn't really get me. I'm completely fine. Ca coughing for allergies? Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's like it went from just the itchy and, you know, nose and the constant blowing to now a sore throat. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, man, that's fucking terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. It's happening to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but anyway, here we go. We're gonna start the uh, episode. We're talking about Megalobox. Ha ha! I said it right. Yeah, oh. wait. He got it right this time. Megalobox episode <laughs> six. So proud. I know, <laughs> so right? Let's have a moment of silence. All right, you know what? <laughs> okay. I'll get you out. Of that. <laughs> All right, so we got Megalobox episode six discussion, anime pit, however you want to call it. Uh, this title is called "Until the Last Dog Dies." All right, so last episode it started pretty much. <laughs> Aragaki that title is so misleading. It really is. <laughs> uh, Aragaki so misleading. basically bodied Joe at the end of the last episode, all the way up to you know, count number ten. Where you, I, I honestly thought that he was gonna fucking lose. Me too. I'm not gonna lie. I, I was anticipating it, and I was pleasantly surprised. Sadly, <laughs> yeah. sadly mistaken. But uh, <laughs> Joe, the, I did, you know what? You know what? Honestly, this episode felt like this episode felt like a Rocky movie. It did. It did. It was could, extremely yep. one-sided for like the first three rounds, and then the last round, Joe was like, "All right, we gotta figure this shit out. Let's do this." <laughs> they gave they gave you a preview of Creed. Basically, <laughs> I kind of got what wow. they were doing. Well, what he was doing anyway, because it was like he. I felt like he was trying to wear him out, like. He did. I think. I think after the second round, or maybe it was the first round, because that the last episode happened so quickly, you thought that it was like almost like a full round. It was like thirty seconds. Yeah. Well, here's the <laughs> well, Joe, Joe well, here's the thing. Here's out. the thing that I noticed. Um, back when they were talking about Aragaki, like his past, when it came to his fights, how he ended them so brutally, so quickly. Now I understand why he ended up so quickly because he can't. Because he can't fight long. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. exactly. He can't. He can't stand it. I, I think after the injuries he suffered from the uh, from the war, he in reality can't stand for yeah, probably exactly. more than yeah for more than God knows how long. Exactly, and also this episode very very good storytelling, especially with um his background. Like his past with pop, it, it delves more with his past with pops in the army and like why he's doing the things he do. Um, very interesting character. I feel like that's not the last we're gonna see him. I really hope not. I mean, like I don't know. I feel like he's gonna join Team Joe. Yeah, he might well, join team, in terms of team like nowhere. training. Team, yeah, Team Nowhere. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, um, I, I can definitely see that. Yeah, like I, he's I, just gaining more allies. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, like his his character is way too too interesting just to be in that first in those just two episodes yeah, definitely with his connection to pops exactly <clears throat> mm -hmm. it's the soundtrack. soundtrack that soundtrack for the whole episode though oh the this fight, soundtrack was great it really it really delved oh. into like the hip hop type of samurai champloo like the way they had it back then and it's really really good um this fight was is so far is the best fight in the series I mean, like, so far, I can't say it is the best fight, but so far it is. Out of all, everything yeah, we've seen. I feel you. I totally agree with this. Because a lot of these fights well, seemed a little one-sided. One Not one-sided, but Joe yeah. was, like, you know, knocking people out left and right. Knocking people out left and right, yeah. This one was his first real true challenge, but it, in a way, Joe actually learned something because he took all of Pup's actual training advice into a, a, account and used that to actually win the battle. Also, and I like I like that because that was exactly the way Pops trained Aragaki, and Aragaki knew what Joe mm -hmm. was doing, and he was like, "Nah, yeah, nah, nah, dude, that ain't gonna work." That might have, that might, yeah, that might have got under his skin a little bit. Exactly, yeah, it's definitely pissed him off. <clears throat> so that forced him to move in, and that's why he put too much pressure on his legs. And as you saw in the last episode, you know, he's pretty much bleeding. <laughs> exactly. But the one thing I do want to point out, though, in this episode is we learned a little details about the Megalonia. Yes, definitely. We actually definitely. learned some crucial information about it. Extremely because the, the, the entire time, I thought it was going to be, like, 
a decent amount of boxers. No, no, it's four. Megalonia <laughs> is legit four boxers. Yep. You get invited based on you got uh, Yuri. How well you do? Yeah, I got I got the names now. We got Yuri, uh, Pepe, and Glacius. <laughs> Uh, and Glenn, <laughs> Glenn, Glenn Burroughs. Glenn, Glenn Burroughs. <laughs> and then Joe, I believe. It's, no, it's three right Joe, now. They, Joe is three, and they're trying to fill in the other slot. Yes, and the yes, it's going to be Joe. But at the same time, it's like, yo, I'm kind of <laughs> mad. I thought it was going to be some really big tournament, like at least 20 people. Some now, this, like is that. Think, this is what I think. You know what? Showed... What... Yeah, exactly. That's, that, and, but that's, that's what I thought, too. That's how you know this, uh, this whole uh, series is not going to be that long, because they got to lead up to... You know, it's four people, so of course we have to have the fight. We got the fourth spot is open, okay? So we have to we have to have the fight with Joe to get into that fourth spot. So we have Yuri, Pepe Iglesias, and Glenn Boros. I think Glenn is the 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 guy like uh, that they showed at the end, Bloody Lion, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so I and there's another guy. I think his he was talking to Yuri Mikio. That's his name. See, I I write this shit down. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so Mikio. He was talking to Yuri at the end. I don't think he's in it. But I think Joe has to fight him to get the fourth spot. I probably yeah, that makes sense. can I think, agree I think with that. Right. I, I think that's right. right, too. So I think the guy at the end oh. that was talking to Yuri, I think that's the guy Joe's going to fight next. Joe's going to fight next. Because uh, at this point, we have no clue what Joe's ranking is going to be. He's probably in the top ten now. Exactly. Because uh, Aragaki, he nah, was 17. I think he was right? at 17. I didn't, wouldn't he just take so 17 he just, spot? Oh, like, he just took his spot. Yeah, no, because when you, when you think about it, Joe fought, who is it? He was 250-something, and he fought the guy who was ranked above him, beat him, and moved into, like, one-something. Oh. Mm. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. <clears throat> like, like, he jumped significantly. <laughs> so, and just before he got into this fight, he was at, like, 102 or 10, like, between 102 and 107. So, I was just—I was actually talking to Shay earlier before you hopped on her up. Um, if I mean, like, because of the his injuries, like he couldn't continue on. I'm like, what saved Joe was his defense. Honestly, like, like I would say on offensive side, Joe would have lost. Yeah. Yes, what they what what saved Joe was the fact that he listened to Pops and he said keep his weight fifty fifty. Exactly. That, that that's what actually helped him because as each punch hit him, his weight wasn't anywhere but dead center. So that's why he was barely moving. Exactly, exactly. And it forced, you know, forced the other guys to actually get off balance and that's when Joe started to land those those good shots and I'll let you know, Joe hit him real hard. I was like, Oh damn. Yeah. <laughs> Also, another but, um, thing I liked about this, this match was, like, one. there was a lot of tension in this match. Like, you, you honest, I honestly did not know. Like, we all think, like, yo, Joe's going to win everything. But with this match, I was like, yo, yo, Joe might lose this, and he might get knocked down to the bottom, might fight his way up again. But, you know what and, I mean? And I, w and, I, and I wouldn't have been disappointed. Exactly. I would have expected it. I mean, he's running around in Megalobox and has a name, Gearless Joe, for right? fighting people who are using gears. Exactly. So, I mean, like, and and, like, and it makes sense. My bad. Uh, but um, the way Pops described it, he was like, "Listen, he was like, he's gearless, Joe. This is a big, big thing that people bring up, but it works for him because when he was, you know, fighting in the underground, the gear that he was using, Pops was like, listen, it was a piece of shit. Like, so he was basically fighting as a gearless boxer all along, you know? Mm-hmm. That's what they said. Yeah. So at this point now, he is four and zero. He's got one more to go. Before he can enter the Megalonia. This next one ain't gonna be easy. <laughs> it's probably gonna be a two a two episode fight as well, I so feel like. Yeah, exactly. Probably even a three episode fight. What episode we're on episode six, right? Uh, maybe not. Maybe, well, maybe, maybe, going, one, maybe one. Well we're going into episode six. That was episode four, uh, five, right? No, this was episode was six. six. Oh man, I'm on. We're going into seven. Oh, yeah. So yeah, we only got what, so five minutes. Got yeah, six. So even, so even if it's two episodes, yeah, I'm trying to that doesn't leave a lot of time. You know, I feel like they, I feel like they're gonna have to do more time on the on the actual Megalonia. So yeah, I mean, like I that's, feel that's what it is. I mean, like, I don't think they're gonna go into it. Yeah, they're, they're going through these matches really quickly. 
I thought I would have been happy if this <coughs> continued on to the next episode, but we, we can tell like they're kind of blitzing through this stuff. Um, surprise! Plus, album, I get, honestly, plus, I'm almost 100 percent sure gonna get renewed for another season. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. plus it was like plus it was basically written into the story. Yes, that fight would have gone on much longer if Aragaki had legs. Yeah, definitely. So they just showed that he was at a huge disadvantage, despite being at an advantage in the beginning of the fight. His advantage, his disadvantage was time and endurance, mm -hmm. which is what he didn't have. Now, also, one thing I want to point out is, um, <clears throat> so we, we, we see that he, of course, he's Gearless Joe. Now, Megalonia, are you required, like, I, we spoke about this last episode, I believe. Are you required, required to have to gear in Megalonia? I don't know. I don't know. They really didn't go into the rules of Megalonia yet. Right. I and don't that's... think we'll probably go into that until... Joe gets to elected. And, exactly. yeah, Joe gets elected and now this is what spot. I'm this is what I'm getting at. This is what I'm getting at right now. All right, so we don't know the rules now. If there is a rule, blah blah blah. Yes, we have, we are required to wear you know gear because it's Megalonia. This is you know that. What if they get to a point where like, all right, we don't have any gear because we ain't got no money. <coughs> we don't have no sponsors. You know that's because that's the main thing. You want to get sponsored, and if you want to get sponsored, you need yeah. gear. So and that's why they're trying to get this five fights going the way they're doing. Now, now, hear me out. Hopefully, they can now, get somebody. Now, they don't get a sponsor, right? Mm -hmm. And then here comes Aragaki again. Gives Joe his gear. Think about that. Uh, I mean, it could happen. I mean, it could happen, but I feel like I feel like that's that's not that's not the route they're gonna go. No. I, I mean, like I I hope they gearless. just con yeah he just <clears throat> continues staying gearless, Joe. But. But on the on the um the thought of Aragaki, I feel like Aragaki might have a hand in getting him a sponsor. That's what I think is gonna happen. Cause if you remember what he was like, he was sitting, he's saying, uh, he was saying, why are you doing all this? He was really trying to help those other kids in the in his gym. If you didn't notice, he has a whole handicapped gym. All those yeah. people had missing limbs, mm -hmm. things like that. So I'm pretty sure I feel like he was fighting for them, in the most part, like he was fighting to get sponsors for them. Right. As he was mentioning before when he was doing his training. Because at first, I, trying I to get feel, sponsors for his gym. Exactly. I feel at first it was kind of like a personal thing between him and Pops. Like he was like, listen, he said, it got really personal. Now I'm just doing this. But then more and more when the fight was going on, now he now he was fighting because he's a boxer and that's what he enjoys. Like he actually, because you saw that little, those, that little screenshot of him and Joe exchanging hits like back and forth and they both smiled at each mm -hmm. other like, you know, this is a fight. That's all Joe wants is a fight. Exactly. But like he um, wants to show people what real boxing is. I'm gonna wrap this up, but uh, I like the I like the interaction between Pops and Aragaki in the locker room. They it it basically yeah, they, they basically closure. yeah they basically got closure. You know, the whole the yeah, whole background with the ticket the um the dog race ticket. Yeah, now we understand it. Just exactly. Now I understand that, and I think I think that was great. It was just it would we open we opened the uh, Aragaki story in episode five, and it kind of closed in episode six. But like I said before, and, and it gave you a and it gave you a bit of background on pops as well. So that too. But like I said before, they, I really we get background on pops every episode. To be honest, this is true. Yeah, we learn more and more about him every episode, which is fine. I'm okay with it. And then uh, we need to learn about we need to learn about this kid's father though. So we need to learn so about yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know what? That might be the next episode of two. Because we kinda because we don't know shit about Joe. We just know Joe mm -hmm. as the stray dog. So they yeah. might be going through all the characters around him and then the last couple of episodes we actually get to see Joe's background. Or they just don't do it at all. They just leave him yeah. like which, make, which can work. Which can work. It can absolutely work. I mean think about think about it in terms of like if you want to compare it to um other shows that are like this, like Shampoo or, or, or Bebop, you don't ever get backstories for those main characters. We never did. We get backstories for all the characters surrounding them. Yeah. But we never got a backstory for Spike. We never got a backstory for Mugen. And we're probably not going to get a backstory for Joe. Okay. I can <clears> see that happening. Probably not. I can definitely see well, that happening. Maybe, 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 not, not, until maybe not this season. <laughs> True. All right. So, so far, what do you guys rate this episode? That's definitely uh -huh. a five for me. Out of, yeah. out of five. Five out of five? Yeah, yeah this episode five was out great. Of five, five out of five. It was a really good episode. Soundtrack, great. Went perfectly with it. 
just the whole like and the art style of this anime is just amazing. The the thing about it is that it. they I'm gonna give it a five out of five too, because they covered so much within twenty five minutes, which was crazy. They had the fight, they 20, had the you know 20, <laughs> Well twenty minutes. Three minutes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> because of the intro and the outro. <laughs> but yeah, they had the fight. You know, they went back and forth. It was a great fight, great animation, um, great music, and you still had background on both Aragaki and Pops, and that was great. That's all I needed. True. I agree. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. That is our review on Megalobox. Haha, I said it right again. Episode oh, 6. Two uh, if you if you are uh, listening to us or watching us for the first time, this is our channel. We actually do a lot of streaming. We try to stream as much as possible. We do video games. Also, we have a podcast, The Glitch Pit Regular, where we do um, any gaming news that happens every week. Also, we you know have our reactions, things like that. Um, we try our best to stay on top of it as much as possible, but we are very busy. If you like what you see, um, please comment down below uh, and let us know what you think about this latest episode. Let us know what you think what's going to happen in the future episodes. Um, and also, also give us any uh, also give us uh, ideas on what other animes you would like us to talk about. Exactly that yeah. too, because we watch a I lot. Watch everything. <laughs> so, yeah, we watch everything. So uh, that's pretty much it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we are out. Deuces. Later. Later.